Hello. Uh, I will be talking about sustainability in the context of this conference, interconnectedness of food, energy, and water networks. Uh, by way of introduction, uh, the food system, as uh, is well known, very intertwined with energy, water, and water systems that support all of its functions. Transportation uh, is very much a hidden uh, link in that system because it uses energy and water, and it's often unaccounted for microtransit for food deliveries and pickup can reduce energy uh, as, as an example. There are dependencies and interdependencies among food, energy, and water, direct and indirect, direct used directly in the food system and indirect uh, occurs in processing. Other infrastructures are an integral part of the system as well. Uh, information technology supports communication linkages. Uh, waste management also takes care of the residuals. Network principles are a very important way uh, to understand what is uh, what the system looks like. Um, for example, sometimes there are node constraints, too many links per node. So what you can do, uh, uh, portrayed by the dotted lines is add more nodes or add more links or both. Um, secondly, the middle row link capacity constraints too. There are too few links between intermediate nodes and you get a lot of congestion. The option is add more links between initial and final nodes. Finally, the theme of food deserts um, implies that there are long distances between supply and demand nodes, but transport type availability and affordability are also factors in contributing to, uh, to, food, uh, to food deserts. Um, uh, and the option here is to add more nodes and links closer to demand. This is somewhat of a complicated uh, flow chart. It comes out of uh, articles that I've uh, written with colleagues uh, in the Journal of Environmental Progress and Sustainable uh, Energy, uh, and also the Journal of uh, Environmental Studies, where energy and water and food are all interrelated and change with respect to one another. Uh, by way of summary of applications to sustainable food, energy, and water systems, uh, food systems depend, as I said, on energy and water at very different stages along the production, consumption, and waste management se sequence. What you're having lately though, is impacts on the food system are now occurring at multiple locations at the same time, like in the uh, pandemic, but the ability of the system to draw from non-impacted areas becomes for resources, especially energy and water becomes very restricted. There are bottlenecks uh, that can occur uh, energy sufficiency uh, can lead to problems. Uh, styles and other human behaviors can occur uh, as well. The production of meatless burgers is an example uh, out of a National Academy's um, workshop recently uh, where a meatless burger actually uses 99% less water, 46% uh, uh, less energy. Um, and the COVID is another example uh, altered even the most flexible relationships that existed prior to the pandemic. Um, okay. Uh, this is an example of a bottleneck, a potential set of bottlenecks and the importance of transportation. Uh, this is how we get our gasoline and uh, the gasoline uh, is critical to the um, tanker trucks and ways of moving food, also moving consumers. So um, uh, here are a series of selected um, references. Uh, and uh, citations um, that you can contact me uh, uh, contact me about. 